Welcome to BlueFX.net. My name is Jörfi Szilard and in this tutorial I will show you how you can prepare your After Effects, Sony Vegas and Cinema 4D project files for backup. Working as a freelancer I needed to store my project files in such a way that I can access them even after one year. Clients may need to add new phrases, change a text or a logo for a video project so proper archiving is always important. I had to keep all the saved files and assets in the same folder to open the projects uh, later without those uh, nasty surprises or missing file errors. So let's start with Sony Vegas. I have prepared a small video project uh, where I use the audio file and the video file. It's really simple. Okay. Now, if you go to File, Save As, and check the Copy Media with Project box, and save the project, now you can save the entire source file meaning the audio or video file as it is, or just a part that is actually used in the composition. I prefer to copy all files in their or original duration and format, so I'll check copy source media. Hit OK. Now Sony Vegas copied all the assets in the folder where I have saved the project file, so let's check it out. Here we have the folder and this is the Sony Vegas save and here are the assets. This is the audio file and this is the video file. Now if I move, the, move this folder to another hard drive everything will work. Let's open up Cinema 4D. Here I made a simple project where I, I textured the sphere, a sphere to make it look like uh, the earth. If you would save the project normally and then move the project file to a different location, uh, Cinema would not find the JPEG image that I used on the earth's texture. So you can see here is the, here's the JPEG image, this is the map. So instead saving normally, let's try save project. This will create a folder which contains your project files and uh, the used assets. In our case the texture image of the earth. So here we can see the folder and here we have our project file and here we have our texture which is a JPEG image. Now we will open up After Effects. I've built a small project that uses a video file, an audio track and my logo. So here's the audio track, here is the logo, and here is the video. Okay. First we need to save the project, so go to file and hit save as. Okay, you can see I already saved it, so I will overwrite. Now go to file and uh, collect files. Here we have a couple of options to collect the project files in one location. All will collect all source files including used and unused proxies. For all comps, this will collect footage and proxies that used in composition. For selected comps, uh, you, you are not able to see it because I didn't select the comp, but for selected comps, we will collect the files for the comps that you have selected. For queued comps, we'll, uh, we'll collect the files from, from the compositions that are currently in the render queue. None will save only, uh, only the project file and uh, won't collect any, any source files. I use all or for all comps. So now let's do for all comps. Ok, you have other options here, which I won't go over now, but if you press F1, 
and uh, open up the Adobe Helper, write in collect files and uh, collect files in one location, so like this one. Here you can uh, read more, more details about this process. Now let's hit collect. He, now After Effects asks us where we should uh, put the folder. Let's name it A folder 2. Okay. When we open up the folder, we can we can see the save file, the footage folder, and the report text file. The footage folder contains all the assets in separate folders, just the way I have organized the project in my After Effects composition. So you can see footage contains audio, images and video, just the same is in our footage folder. Now if we go back and uh, check out the report, we can uh, see the effects, plugins and fonts that were used on this project. So here we have the effects, the layers and here we have the font that we used. Also, if there were any uh, third-party plugins or simple plugins, then we could see those too. Now we are ready to safely back up the files. You can add comments or suggestions on my blog page. Please write them here in the comment section for the tutorial. You can also follow me on Twitter. Just click here on Twitter. You can also check out my After Effects project. These projects come with uh, video tutorials, so they are really easy to customize. Mm, for example, this one would work really well for a um, Christmassy holiday look mm, commercial or intro. Or you can just download this one. This is a free project and play around with it, test it out. My next tutorial will be about actually creating the backups. So uh, using different applications to always keep your content safe on an external hard drive. And uh, I will show you different, uh, different methods and also some of the hardware that I use for this. Thanks again for your time. This was Jerfi from bluefx.net. Hope to see you soon.